What's up? We're back here with another Pro Wrestling Crate unboxing. And uh, yeah, it is October 2023. This is the Masks and Paint Crate. Six. 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 No, it's just one six. All right, Andrew, let's go. <laughs> All right, I have no idea what's in this box. I managed to not see a single thing. That was the card, we'll read it later. The first shirt we have on the agenda is... Dude, oh, this is old school. We got Sting. We got old school Sting. Shoot, this is when he first became like the crow. Uh, give it. Got the sad looking face. I can see him now coming down from the rafters. Awesome, awesome era of professional wrestling back in WCW. Went after the NWO, went after Hogan. You all know how that story went. Amazing shirt. Just announced the timeline for his retirement, 2024, I believe. And uh, yeah, the stickers are gonna be missed in the professional wrestling world, but we still have them. You can have them too in shirt form. There you go. That's your first shirt right there. Awesome. Second shirt, up in the agenda. Okay guys, unfortunately, we have two black shirts this month today. It's, uh, it's a spooky spooky box, so I'm not surprised. What we got? Is this El Generico? Is he still in Mexico? Is he still alive? He's alive no, he's still, right? Dead. He's dead. He's dead. Save the orphans from the fire. So no more El Generico. Absent yeah, that's in the comment for El Generico. What's your favorite El Generico match? Check that out. El Generico, the generic Lucha Libre wrestler. Ole from Tijuana, Mexico. 2002. El Generico, it'll be missed. Awesome match. I think one of my favorite matches. Anyone he did with Kevin Steen back in the day. Shoot, I think the, the, the blow off with Kevin Steen was awesome. But, um, this is cool. Alright, guys. Let's get into the, the nitty gritty. What is this? Oh, we got a flag? Oh, this is a flag. This we will open up. That's a nice. That's very nice. This is a sublimated flag. And is this a Lucha Bros? Oh my god. Is this a, wait, this is not, this is a pillowcase. I thought this was gonna be a flag. This is a pillowcase. And check this out, it's a zippered pillowcase. Or, or it's a bag for your candy when you go trick or treat. Check that out, it is a Lucha Bros pillowcase or trick or treat bag, what have you. It's nice and sublimated. Uh, this is, this is a tough material for sure, so. You can use this as a flag, actually, you know, and kind of think about it, but I don't know if you want to use a pillowcase for a flag. Uh, the inside is just strictly white. There's no tags inside. I don't know if it gave you directions how to wash it. It could be. I can't see it right now. I don't know. But hey, nice little zipper right there. It's a plastic zipper, so be careful when you open this and close this. But yeah, use this for your pillow. Use this for your candy on Halloween if you celebrate. This is your Lucha Bros. Is it upside down? <laughs> this is your Lucha Bros. Uh, bag or uh, pillowcase. What else we got? Ooh, we have a patch. We have a coffin drop, Darby Allen patch right there. The text and the wheels, <coughs> pardon me, and the um, signature are in pink. Well, everything else is in black and white. This is a, I believe this is an iron on. I do see adhesive on the back, so you can see that right there. Your iron on, check that out. That's pretty cool. Darby Allen. Patch, put it on your bag, put on your vest, and just pin it up. Put it in a hat, put it on a blank hat. That's what a lot of people are doing. They're buying blank hats, buying our patches, and putting them on there. Cool. Let's see. Oh, we got the pit. You know, he was just he just came here this past Friday. You guys are here for the signing. This is definitely in the future after that happened. And he did pay his due. He worked a lot. And the money he made, I took half of it back. He don't know that. Though. Here's your normal common Danhausen pin, and here is your chase pin. It is glow in the dark, as you can see right there. Can you see it? And it's about to go dark in three, two, one, boom. That looks great. That is your chase glow in the dark Danhausen pin. Uh, other than that, the colors are pretty much the same, besides the skin tone on the chase pin. The skin tone's completely white. Uh, the normal one, his skin is, you know, skin tone, plush, or whatever his demonic body is made out of. Those are your pins. And 
Here is our micro brawler. The vampire warrior himself, Gangrel, from the brood. Dude, this is awesome. And this is pretty much dead on what he looks like. One of the most, uh, I, I think one of the most iconic, rememberable wrestlers from back in the Edgy era. Rising up from the Titan Tron, surrounded by fire, walking down with a chalice full of blood. Steps up those steps and you feel sorry for those people who are sitting right in front of him. He takes a sip and like Triple H usually does, he spits that out all over himself and all over the audience. I wonder what that blood was made out of unless it was actually real blood. I wouldn't be surprised if he is a vampire, right? So, that's our comment. Where's our chase? Speaking of, oh my god. Like I was mentioning before, he would spit the blood all over the crowd. That'd be your aftermath right there. There's your chase, gang growl with the sticker and everything to tell you it is a chase. And there is your comment. But there you go, there's your chase. Your comment. Now, last but not least, you are signed 8 by 10 My god. <laughs> now for you old school people, you old school WCW people, you will know this, but for the, no, the, uh, the newer generation, unless you've seen this on YouTube, this is the Zodiac from the Dungeon of Doom. I did not watch WCW. At this time era, I've seen a lot of things of the Zodiac. But he was part of the legendary Dungeon of Doom. That all their whole thing was just taking down Hulk Hogan. A lot of great wrestlers in there. Him, the Giant, the Shark, um, Taskmaster. I think. Don't quote me on that. So that's your Zodiac, eight by ten. Wow, I like that signature actually. All right, guys, that was everything. That's for Masked and Paint Volume 6. If you like this box and you want to subscribe, go to ProWrestlingCrate.com to sign up for the next crate. Next crate, there's going to be a mystery wrestler. I don't even know who it is, but it's even in the graphic already. There's a, Everyone's in there already. Who do you got? Doesn't say. Oh, we got Dusty Rose, MJF, uh, Punk, Big John Stud, plus a special item from a mystery wrestler right there. So I kind of spoiled next crate for myself. Uh, at least I don't know what things are inside. So make sure to go to ProWrestlingCrate.com and subscribe. If you like to share our crate, go tag us at PW Crate and go check out these social medias right there on Facebook. You gotta update the box on X and on Instagram. And make sure to follow ProWrestlingTees at those said sites as well. If you want to follow me, Astropolis is where I'm at. I'm on Twitch, I'm on Kick. I, I'm streaming Scary Games this month because it's October, and I love horror survival games. That being said, guys, I've been Big C Chris Castro. Please subscribe to Pro SMT's network here on YouTube and all other social medias. Until next time, have a safe and horrifying Halloween. See you next month.